right, let's get into some news today. And hopefully my guest uh, who has, uh, I've been trying to confirm with him, he's a YouTuber that's put an extraordinary, and I mean every bit of the word extraordinary. This man is a genius. He has mapped out on Google Maps, uh, he has this project going, and he has mapped out so much of the blueprint, hardcore evidence, the blueprint is now available for you. He's adding to this blueprint. He's asking people to climb aboard this project to, to enter more information on this graphic system that he has created. I hope that he calls in. I have uh, not been able to confirm it. We talked a little bit today, but I haven't got confirmation. So listen, if you are the, my guest, please right now press number one on your phone because there are several people listening that's uh, – 803, Ari, I'm going to pick you up just to see if you're my guest. Okay, so here we go. 803, this is Val Volano. What's up? This is Jim from uh, Climate Viewer. How's it going? Oh, wonderful. I'm so glad I wasn't able to connect with you right before the show. So I'm really glad to have you. Um, you, you just heard my big spill and pitch about you. I think you're doing I did. Incredible you got me grinning. Work. <laughs> you know what? Uh, your work deserves some mass attention, and you need help, my friend. And this thing is is extraordinary. So let me quit just buffering you up. Why don't you go ahead and give our audience um, uh, what? Just kind of summarize what's, what what the project's about, and then we're going to get into all the things that you're finding, which is really really incredible. Well, thank you. Um, okay, for. So for people that don't know me, um, I'm Jim Lee. I'm from South Carolina. I'm 35. I'm married. Um, my nickname is Resonated. I spell two ways, R3ZN8D and R-E-Z-N-8D. And that's as in it resonated with the voters or uh, that's causing my um, bowels to resonate. Um, so, you know, I, I like a lot of things, electromagnetic, and I'm kind of a science geek, and I have no training in anything. Um, you know, got my high school diploma and taught myself just about everything I know after that. I learned graphics. Um, I went up to the local college and snuck in because my dad didn't have a computer, and I got my first copy of Photoshop 1.0.4.4 and started rocking it. And um, everything's history after that. And now um, I work for a you know tire company, and I do computers during the day and at night. Uh, you know, do my family, and when they go to bed, I'm a full-time activist. And, uh, right on, right on, brother. And, so, um, yeah, let, let, yeah, what have you been finding? I mean, this is – I've been uh, running through your videos, and I'm just, you know, the majority – like 80% of them, I'm just floored. I'm like, wow, this is freaking awesome. This is like a blueprint. Well, you, you are literally, like, mapping out their br blueprint. Do you know that? I do, and, um, I mean, I, you know, it, it, what's funny about it is, like, when it first started out, yeah, you know, there's a lot of controversy about harp and ionospheric heaters and right. you know elf waves and all that junk. So you know, I bid it hook, line, and sinker. Oh, there's you know harp ring attack on America. So I you know I wanted to learn about harp and I did that. And um, you know what I found was like PDF after PDF on science. You know, every single college. In the in the United States that I've visited online has got at least one very scary PDF, <laughs> um, mm -hmm. and it, and it just reminded me of the Eisenhower speech. And everybody talks about the military industrial complex, but if you really listen and you actually check the whole thing out, the important the actual moral of the story is: don't fear the military, fear the college professors, because. <laughs> Right. And, I, and, and I want everybody out there to hear this loud and clear. There are a thousand Dr. Evils right now with your children. You're paying for them to go to school. They're in labs inventing new biological organisms. They're in labs creating new ways to electromagnetically erase your memory, to hit you with lightning bolts. The, the stuff that they can do now, they can talk directly into your brain. Um, people have no clue. And when I started reading this, my, my biggest problem was, you know, I fell for the, the whole Ellen, you know, debacle. And I don't know if yeah. anybody's familiar with that, but there, there was this, you know, presentation of doom that would happen when September 27th, 
that the the stars would align and Obama would be in the Denver underground bunker and, you know, Ellen is going to roll between Earth and the sun and we're all going to die. I bit that shit hook, line, and sinker. And after it was over with, you know, after I scared my wife <laughs> and yeah, stayed up right. way too long, you know, after <laughs> I did all that and then even contemplated joining the morons that went all the way out to the mountains, you know, I contemplated you know, that. Dude, you got stuck in a rabbit hole. I've been stuck in a rabbit hole a few times okay. in this whole uh, adventure. Well, so I tell, I, I have, I tell this story have. just so people know, you know, I've been there, all right? Yep. Because what I'm yep. about to tell yep. you is going to shock the crap out of you. Um, after all that, I said, I'm never going to let this happen to me again, and I'm only going to focus on things that are grounded in reality. There if you go. I cannot, if I cannot find... So, you know, Ron Reagan said, trust but verify. If you are not willing to do the due diligence to get your ass out there and read that, you ADHD-having activist, then get your ass off the Internet and quit pretending to be a truther because you're screwing it up for everybody that's really trying to do it. Oh, God, I'm in love with you. Too bad you're not married. Or you're married, sorry. <laughs> I, just, I have to clarify because, you know. <laughs> but anyway, so there's this book called The Library of Babel. <laughs> And it right. talks about a library that has all the knowledge inherent in the universe. And any man who were to ask a question, the answer for that question is in the library. This was a known fact, like a scientific law. The problem, right. with, the, the problem with the library was no man who entered the library ever found his truth. And the reason for that is because you've got to wade through the disinfo. Man, and that's a big chore, isn't it? And it's the biggest chore that every single one of us has on our plate. I implore everybody listening to this today to go out and watch a free documentary on open films. It's called Human Resources, Social Social Engineering in the 20th Century. And you will learn how the NWO and Henry Ford and Rockefeller and all of them decided that for you to be a robot and controllable that they will take away your ability to be a skilled laborer. You're all replaceable. Everybody works online. I can put 20 people in your place. And then how they took it a step further and learned how to control your mind. And then they learned how to do it with just words. Mm-hmm. And that's and actually you, based in, in, that's actually based in what I found to be what I, I mean, I went down a rabbit hole uh, that kept me down there for, my God, I was down there for a long time, and it's based in quantum physics, quantum theory on how to create the illusion for masses. It's a base in psychology and energies and illusions. Anyways, that's how they operate. But you know what? Let's get into let's get into and you you know I love your your stamina, your energy. is it, It's exactly what we need, and uh, it's interesting that you found you are mapping things like. Uh, where drones are in the United States. You're mapping things like, uh, looks like, and now maybe I'm speculating here, but when I found all those little tiny holes that you found uh, on American soil, isn't that really, really close to what atomic uh, underground activity looks like? Um, There's actually every atomic explosion that has occurred on the map. You can uh, click nuclear and see all 2,053 nuclear explosions. Wow. wow, and, wow, see wow. The whole, and see the holes in the ground, and see the underground ones, and see the ones in uh, Alabama and right next to Louisiana um, in salt domes. Interesting, right? Um, right. So, yeah, there, there's, there's a lot of messed up crap. I just did a video where um, the Russians actually dumped 17,000 barrels of radioactive waste, 19 ships containing radioactive waste, 735 uh, radioactively contaminated heavy machinery, and the K-27 nuclear submarine loaded with nuclear fuel, and five reactors. Wow. What are you finding re- – uh, what, what are you discovering recently, and what's the, what's the, uh, the bombshells, uh, in your opinion, that you've discovered? I mean, take your pick. The bombshell is that all of this crap is going on simultaneously and that through control mechanisms, every single movement out there has been co-opted, diverted, or thrown off track with some kind of technique. So what I've done 
is try to take all of this information that's just randomly about the Internet and combine it in one spot. Because our biggest problem is that, you know, we have to, we have to do something with the Congress people to get something actually done. That's the way it's supposed to work. The only problem is the people in Congress, you know, they don't know how to work their iPhones. So when, a, when Dr. Evil's in there telling them that they need $12 billion to go mess with the ionosphere to do elf, you know, injection stuff and, uh, you know, spray barium and all these chemicals into the air and uh, create fog cover for defense of satellites and direct energy weapons that nobody can explain to them, oh, yeah, by the way, that's going to poison everything on the planet. Uh, so it's up, uh, to, uh, it's up to us to – to be um, the go-between. Somebody has got to be just smart enough to understand what the nerds are saying, but just cool enough to explain it to the Congress people so they get that it's important, because otherwise it's never going to happen. Neil Tyson DeGrasse is like the man at it. He's like my hero. Um, Neil Tyson DeGrasse will take a very complicated subject and put it into terms that you can understand. How could you ever go to your congressman and start complaining about chemtrails and expect to get anywhere if you've got no references, you've got no fact to back it up, you've done no um, research, and you're just pointing at the air? You look like a crazy person. Right, so right, right, exactly, I, I decided, and that's been our biggest problem. Yeah, so I decided I want to make a globe full of evidence, shocking, shocking evidence with just some stuff thrown in for fun. You know, I mean, I've got all, you know, everybody's going to wonder why I've got all these radio towers on there. I personally believe that we're all inundated with ambient EMR, which is also called electrosmog, which pisses us off. All that excess energy in your body aggravates you. And we're all inundated with electricity from Wi-Fi sources, cellular sources, your um, wireless phone in your house, the, the hum in your wall, the high power lines near your house. Over in Europe, there are doctors who recognize this. They go to your house. They do a test for ambient EMR. They say, you've got hot spots here. You know, we need to do something about that. They recognize that electricity outside the body can affect you. Well, nobody, you know, over here wants to even hear that. They're throwing it. They got uh, 20-something million cell towers, (laughs) and they're putting up a whole new network for the, you know, 4G or um, the free Wi-Fi for the whole world, you know, and you got right, all these right. Dopplers, 750,000 watts of electricity passing through you every second. Um, yeah, it's, it's, to me, that's a problem. It's aggravating the whole system to boot. Um, nobody will admit it, but I believe in the butterfly effect, and I believe in the electric universe, you know, so sorry. I really, truly believe that, um, you know, that there's a lot that these nerds and Dr. Evil's don't understand, and they admit so. David Keith goes, well, it could, you know, geoengineering could end up, you know, killing some people. I mean, it could. We don't know, right. but we still right. have to do it. Um, hey, listen, that kind of stuff scares wanna, me. Yeah, right, 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 right. I want to do something because we only have two hours here, and there's a lot I want to cover with you, but um, I want to do something a little unique in this in today's broadcast. I'm going to drop the link um, of your video, your latest video on the, Lu- the Louisiana sinkhole update. And I'm, what I'm going to do is, is do this. Uh, when I drop this link in the chat room, you guys open it up, and you can actually move the whole the whole video over so you can still chat. Mute the volume, and I'm going to let you walk through about some of these things that you've seen uh, uh, or put together during this video. And before we before we do that. My question to you is this. Here's what I think on this Louisiana sinkhole. I think that this is the product of some kind of um, some kind of uh, atomic nuclear kind of uh, testing, and it is coming up. It's, I, I, believe, I believe that it's, uh, it's a major fail uh, on the feds, and they're going to soon uh, – the story is going to soon open up. Um, and I believe – to me, I think it's a sitting – a sitting bomb, uh, gaseous and everything. What do you think before we get started in this? Okay. Before I say anything, I want to clarify that I have not fully researched this. I have been fu- like fully committed to Climate ver- Viewer version 2, which I haven't even told anybody about yet. So 
you know, I've been really sidetracked with that, but here's what I know. Um, there was a book back in like the 1800s that, uh, or the late 1800s called Salt, A World of History. And in it, this, this came from a YouTube commenter on my video. Um, they talk about how it was getting to be common where they would blame it on the people drilling right next to the hole. But in fact, people as far as four miles away could actually be the culprit. So you've got, from what I'm looking at on the map, you got three water wells that are uh, southwest of the sinkhole, and they they say that one of them is leaking. Um, that's all I know about that. Now, when I was looking at Sonris on the, the Louisiana the Department of Natural Resources, you can actually look at every single well and all their data. That's where I pulled that stuff from, and I basically use this program called GPX to convert it over to put it on the map for you guys. Um, and in there, I saw that there was a bore shaft that right where those three water wells are that are to the southwest, there is a bore shaft that runs from the base of the last one, so the, the, mo the most southerly uh, water well, due uh, southeast. And it said it was, you know, uh, you'd, you'd have to go to the Sonora site and look at it. I'm going to probably put it up on there as a, like a, a little block so you can see it. I don't want to make stuff up, you know what I mean? So, right, but it, it's, a, it's a pretty long um, shaft, and it looks like it's running from the surface outside of the salt dome because you can see the concentric rings, which shows how deep it goes. So to me, it looks like this is coming at an angle into the salt dome. And I don't know. That just kind of seems like the one thing that stands out out of all the data that I saw there was that there's this bore shaft that runs you know, diagonally into the sinkhole past a water source, supposedly, three water wells. So there's an oil well shaft that runs between three water wells, and they have a water leak. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, wow. So what are some of these blue dots that are uh, that are going off on this video here uh, about the Louisiana sinkhole? What are those little um, green dots? Are you, the blue ones are the water wells, the black ones are the oil and gas wells, and the Mr. Yuck faces are the injection wells. And for those who don't know, injection wells are where they stick the nastiest crap that we got deep in the ground and pretend it wasn't there. <laughs> um, the holes are about 5,000 feet down, and from from what I understand, the one that's closest to it is owned by Texas Brine. I'm not saying this for certain, but I did a little research on Texas Brine. Their parent company is TBC Brine Ad, TBC dash D R I N A D D. And um, you can go and look at their products list, and it's a whole bunch of chemicals called Fraxol. Okay. So that's, that looks to me like fracking lubricant, the brine or the, the, the leftovers from drilling. So they go, they go somewhere, they frack the ground, they pump all that crap out, they drive it to Louisiana, they put it in the ground. That's, what, that's the whole story to me, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. And this is the part of fracking nobody really thinks about. The whole oil and gas industry, when they're done, and people talk about you know nuclear, there's plenty of radioactive material in every bit of the ground. That's what the radiation comes from. If you frack the ground, the water coming out is radioactive. If you blow the top of a hill off for coal mining, everybody's going to have radioactive waste everywhere. But nobody thinks about this stuff. But the coal miners, they've got radioactive ra waste in all their water because it's just seeping out now. It was stored inside the rock. Now it's not. <laughs> um, wow. It's, that, wow. It's, really that, it's really that simple. Anywhere there's rock, there is radiation. Yeah. If you right, blow right, right, it up, right. you got to breathe the radiation. So, um, so what do you think is uh, – what, what's going on with this sinkhole, in your opinion, from what you've seen? I know some of it you can't uh, – you haven't been able to prove yet, but what is your – what's leading you? What's saying what, – what is the, your gut saying on this? I'm saying that they're all at the will of, you know, he who created it or Gaia or Mother Earth, whatever you want to call it. There's nothing they can do about what's going to happen right now. They're going to try to siphon it out or whatever. But if anybody saw that Lake Puginot sound video – I might be butchering that, but it's something like that. They had a, a a drill out in the middle of the lake, 
they drilled down through the bottom. They ended up drilling into a salt mine. The whole, um, you know, drill goes into the hole. Then the whole lake goes into the hole. The Gulf of Mexico flows backwards, <laughs> you know, flowing into the hole. Um, five uh, big, large, you know, uh, tanker ships go into the hole. And then finally, after it all gets sucked in there and the whole mine is full of water, the five ships shoot out like, you know, a rubber ducky in the bathtub. Mm-hmm. Right. So, um, so you can uh, – people, we're just going to kind of run – through this stuff a little bit, not necessarily um, going detail for detail, uh, but some of the specific videos. Um, the next one I'd like to bring to the forum is your video on, uh, hold on, let me get to it, uh, NASA J2X cloud forming uh, rocket. You know, you're familiar with that one. You, you did this one two weeks ago. Uh, uranium mine fire, severe weather, energy weapons, and you've mapped this. So I'm going to drop this into the chat room. Um, again, we're going to go over some of his work. His work is really detailed, um, but I want to get you guys at least inspired because uh, you need help with this, don't you? I mean, what, of course. Pitch, pitch, pitch your pitch your thing. <laughs> well, my idea is to build a crowdsource engine for people to geolocate information so that you can use it as testimonial material. It's that factual. Um, I can't say that we can go through and completely police it, but if we have a good organization of people who are willing to submit information to the, you know, to this global database, that we can build a file on them. You know, f you for looking at me. I'm going to look at you, and that's what that eyeball is there for. Because now I'm looking at you. I love you know? it. Countermeasures, yeah. Well, I'm right now it is, the, it is the job of every citizen in a so-called democracy um, to be ever vigilant against the tyranny of evil men. You know, all it takes for them to prevail is for us to do nothing. So, far, mm-hmm. so far we've been doing nothing. We watch football games. We YouTube. We blog about it. We, you know, go, you know, copulate and go to sleep. That's what we do. And nobody's mm-hmm. out doing anything. This 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 broadcast that website will do nothing if it doesn't inspire you to get out and go to the local college, make a scene, go to the local you know market and tell people, put on a costume, put on a show. They're sheeple, they'll love it. You know, um, <laughs> people love to be entertained. <laughs> they, right now, they're all addicted to that boob tube and you know colorful images and moving stuff. So. They really they'll they'll eat it up hand hand over foot, and if you have nothing but truth on your side, and you have researched your material well, doesn't matter what shill, what agent provocateur, what troll sock puppet comes along, you'll be able to own faith like a warrior of truth. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. on it's on everybody to really do that work. And I'm not saying that I've done that work. I'm still working on it. You know, if you go through my blog. Half of my blog is, you know, I was still on my Ellen and ride, you know, so there's probably some crazy crap back at the beginning, but still, oh, sure. the very first blog post I ever wrote was called The Revolution Will Be Packet Size, and I right. fully believe well, that. Let's talk a little bit about this because I want to get people the idea more for with the visual effects of what you're doing. I'm dropping into our chat room right now, and if you're not there, it's at freedomizerradio.com. Uh, okay, so uh, I, I dropped the video I need, again. To, I need to hop in the chat, but I'm walking around my backyard right now enjoying the grass. So, That's um, okay. Yeah. That's okay. Let's go so, ahead and talk about that, uh, the, the one with the uranium and the, uh, here, which, what's it called, the uh, NSA or NASA JX2 cloud forming rockets. So what, what's that all about? Okay, that is a, is a big old cloud-making rocket. I mean, there's really no other way to put it. They came in and they... They told everybody in the area, look, there's going to be a big cloud making rocket and a bunch of explosives over there. We're going to blow stuff up and shoot stuff off. They blew these horns into the woods, you know, to make sure all the animals would leave the area. And then they set up shop. And now the Stennis Space Center um, is their home base for this, you know, all these new experiments. And the weather people are there. The NOAA people are there. Um there's a there's just there's there's a lot of crazy stuff going on there (laughs) my baby (laughs) you got a bug on your leg (laughs) oh her foot is broken (laughs) okay so um 
that that thing it actually just does a chemical mixture real quick and spits out a cloud. And now for me that's kind of creepy. <laughs> you know, right. you talk about the ability to quickly disperse large amounts of chemical. You know, is that is that pure? No baby, no baby. You, you know what I'm <laughs> finding is if you put if you put all your work together. And I, I went on this uh, this site when I started clicking on all the information that you put together and started looking. And when you look at it from a bigger picture, like the work that you're doing, uh, you, uh, a, a blueprint starts to form. You can actually see their their tactics. You can see it. I mean, you can't even deny it. And it's like, wow, all this stuff happening. And, and basically what you're doing is you're connecting the dots into one forum, one file. And uh, how can people get a hold of uh, of you just to get in, involved in this? The easiest way is to go to climateviewer.com, climateviewer.com, and click the forum. Right at the top of the thing, I made a PHPVV forum. The guys from Russia and China visit me daily to try to mess it up. What up? You're failing. Um, so I've got a forum there where you can post anything you want, and I'll – Try my best to get it on the map. Um, the big problem I'm facing right now is with my server, and um, it's already getting kind of heavy, you know, getting the, getting a lot of hits. And the intention was to make this crowd. Some... The intention so was to um, have it crowdsourced so that everybody could, you know, automatically submit their data and put it on the map. Awesome. And, um awesome. That way, you know, I don't have to be so involved because I do have a family, as everyone can clearly hear. And, um, right. yeah, and um, so people that way, can you know, we can all build it together. So let me, let me okay. finish. So here, what, I, what I've run into is that my server's, you know, running into problems. I'm getting kind of threatened by them about the hits already. And I'm working on this new version, and it's going to be much more than what we've got right now where you can actually log into the website create your own map. It'll have your own channel where you can talk with the other members of your team. You guys can build your information database, say it's on, you know, survival locations or bunkers or whatever you want to cover. And then that map can be added to the global database with a global chat room and direct you to like local vegetation and local restrooms and all that sort of stuff. Um, so we're trying and the intention is to have it where we can literally all just log in and build this database of whatever you want to put on there and it be survival related towards, you know, helping the planet, keeping track of all of the crazy stuff that they're doing. I, I track weather modification and geoengineering experiments. Um, you know, I don't like them messing with the climate. You know, they, they're, they're betting on it on the, the stock market. They're, you know, spraying all kinds of crazy stuff in the air. And people are so busy talking about chemtrails, not a single person has actually looked at the Nadex or went and, you know, tried to find out what companies are doing this. And there's, you know, large organizations. The the Council of Foreign Relations has a unilateral you know, group on geoengineering trying to get the whole world to agree to do it. <laughs> so, right. you know, why, why don't people get involved and try to stop it? You know, and the only way we can do that is if we can have a place where it's bookmarked in a usable fashion. Because right now, Google ain't cutting it. You know, there's no way we can ever, you know, put something together if we don't come together. And right now, there's no form to do that. And I think that the best thing for, especially for the sheeple, you know, they're really addicted to colorful lights and moving objects. So they dig the map, you know. They like moving it around, and it gets it plays like a video game. You know, it makes it fun to learn that they drop, you know, 300 nukes in Nevada, <laughs> you know, in some way right, it makes it right. a little fun, but you feel like you're part of, you know, looking at the, the battleship, you know, the, the battle station heads up display and you're ready for war. So um, you can use this as an information tool. Um, if, you know, I want to cover like things like fracking. So I like, get every single fracking hole out there and then track all the people that, you know, have complained about problems till finally we've got this, map covered in dots where it says, look, we got 4,500 complaints from this city and they're all around the fracking zones there. Y'all should probably lob a um, complaint against these people. Here's their name. 
You know, yeah, yeah, you've got uh, things on Harp. You've got things on the Fukushima um, situation. You've got things on, uh, uh, looks like, ISS time lapse. Uh, my gosh, lightning made waves in Earth's atmosphere. And you're, you're mapping all this stuff. Um, you guys really got to get involved in this. This is some extraordinary work. If anything, it's going to at least help you get a bigger picture of what we're facing here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. We're approaching the top of the hour. You're going to stick around, aren't you? I got about 30 more minutes, if, if it's okay. Okay, 30, 30 minutes is perfect. So we're going to go ahead and get some uh, commercials played so we can get that out of the way. And then when we get back, uh, we're going to continue here uh, with this uh, wonderful project you've got together for Truthers. And uh, then after after we're done, I'm going to get into uh, breaking news today. Uh, so the guest is first for those that are itching at your seats for breaking news. <laughs> breaking news will come after the guest. All right, we'll be right back, guys. Stick around. Appreciate it. And now, back to Recharge Radio with Val Villano. All right. Welcome back, everybody. And um, go ahead and give out your name and contact info again for those that are just coming in. Um, and we're going to keep going with uh, your thoughts and uh, discoveries on the project you're doing. Oh, gosh. Hold on. Hold on. I need to <laughs> I need to unmute you. That would probably help. Okay. Uh, hold on. I think you're on now. Jay, Jay. Okay, there, there you go. <laughs> All right. Um, this is Jim Resonated Lee from ClimateViewer.com, Resonated.com, and Resonated.net. It's R-E-Z-N-A-D dot net, and uh, ClimateViewer.com is pretty easy. Um, <clears throat> I do a 3D map. It's a Google Earth plugin. Uh, it's available for the PC or Mac. You got to have Firefox, Chrome, Safari, IE9. Um, you can go there. There's a tree on the side. You expand the little boxes. You click the little te- the little triangle. It'll fold out the category. You check the box. It'll make it appear on the map. Pretty simple. Um, there's a if it, it when you first go there, check out the links at the very top. There's a um, there's a forum there where you can go and post your own news, uh, talk about things. There is. An instructional video. I've got to update that. <laughs> um, and then there's links to all the rest of my stuff there as well, and the the keys to how to control it. But um, it really shouldn't take you very long to figure it out. And we, once you do, you'll be looking at information that's been gathered for the last two years by myself, hanging out by myself, just stuffing stuff into Google Earth. And then finally, I said, you know, I had it available online as a Google Earth file, and it got, you know, close to 20,000 downloads, and um, I said, this isn't good enough, you know, takes too much effort. People got to go download Google Earth and figure out how to use this, so I started learning how to make a website. I didn't know anything about it at the time, and, you know, I'd done a, a little couple dinky websites at the time last year, and, um, you know, the rest is kind of, you know, crazy. Uh, I just started, you know, using people's codes from other websites and built this Little, you know, it came together like Voltron, and now I've got, you know, this 3D heads-up display that'll show you live weather data. You can see NEXRAD, WSI, um, all kinds of NASA and NOAA instruments, um, like, you know, radar, clouds, uh, wind, temperature, meter readings, um, METAR, or whatever you want to call it. Um, then you can do all kinds of other things with that. So there's satellite imagery on there. It's live data. So you can actually look at the Earth, you know, and see what's going on. This is for all the people that are interested in weather modification uh, and all that sort of stuff. I personally am very interested in it because it is 100% real, people, and the weather isn't just crazy because, you know, it's 2012. They've been messing with it for a very long time. They're very good at it now. And once you start looking into what they're actually spraying up there and stop looking at all these, you know, conspiracy movies, um, it'll really shock you because, you know, that, that why in the world are they spraying everybody, you know, sh- go watch that. Go watch that. I talked to Rosalind Peterson personally. Um, I'm surprised that she was involved with it because to me, when I was done watching the movie, it implied that commercial airliners are spraying people with chemicals, which ain't the case. It is spraying chemicals. But the people that are actually doing it, they have names. They work for companies. 
they should be outed. And and I'm going to be just straight up with you. You know, I heard your little story about being stalked. I'm a family man. <laughs> I don't want to bring harm to my family. So I'm not even going to utter the name of the company that I know is doing this right now. But if one were to look through my information, especially a Weather Modification 101 article I did, you'll see the name of a company that is definitely screwing with the weather and is owned by the Air Force. So people really need to look into it and actually follow the dots. You know, don't let somebody else be the hero. Any one of you could be the girl or the guy with the dragon tattoo. All you got to do is do the homework. And then, you know, I'm a, I'm a nerd and I remember everything. So after a while of just reading it, I was like, I got to write this down. And I started blogging and, you know, it got no hits and nobody read the article. They were only looking at the article for two minutes and 30 seconds. So I know you didn't yeah, read it. it, it yeah, here's the thing. Let me let me put a chime in on that. If you're looking for for news, you know, if you're out cruising titles and just do a two minute look at this and this and this and that instead of really researching it, you're not doing yourself any any justice whatsoever for building evidence. You've got to actually put the labor in it, and it is it requires hours and hours and hours of work, and. Uh, uh, you can you can easily follow or listen to somebody who's done extensive research, um, like myself or you, many hosts on this this network, hosts outside this network. Uh, but the thing is, that it comes down to you. You have to prove all things for what you believe, and uh, don't take people's word for it. Go do the backup research. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, and that's exactly where I was. You know, I I, I after the especially after the Allen thing, I said, how did this happen to me? Why was I so played? You know, I learned about all the word control, and then I said, okay, now that I know all this information, let me go reread it like a vampire on his first full moon. You know what I mean? Like with new eyes. And I started yeah. rereading. You know what I mean? I, I got a, yeah, I, I got a question in the chat room for you. Uh, what video have you done to map out the uh, nuke explosions? Which which it's video a, is that? It's the it's the latest one. If you go to my YouTube page, it's uh, YouTube dot com slash oh, R got it. okay yeah R three Z N A D it's a very, it's on the front page just click my name anywhere on any of those links and you'll go to my right. page and R three Z N A D um, for anybody looking out there in Radio Land and um, it's the top one it's called 2053 nuclear explosions something like chem uh, something dump in the ocean all a blur <laughs> right right i i'm i'm uh what i'm doing with the uh chat room audience is inviting them to open up the video click mute so you can still hear the show but get your visuals from uh, uh the latest one i did uh put up is the one for the nuke um the nukes so go ahead and open up the one with the blue uh, you can see the blue earth open up that video and uh, get, it, it's amazing. It's amazing what you've mapped out. It's like, you know, the common person doesn't – it doesn't sink in until people – people are visual. And what you've done is you've taken the thinking where, you know, they're trying to visualize these things. And what you're doing is you're putting it in their eyes now for the visual part. And it's kind of sealing the deal on what's going on. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, and, and the trick is that, you know – with the whole media thing and the boob tube box and the colorful lights, you know, they, they, con- they've conditioned us through, you know, sitting in class and not being allowed to say anything. All of that has led to a, a society that no longer debates. We are all in our own little, you know, our own little world, our own little box. We're not allowed to fight. Oh, don't get out of line. Don't raise your voice. So we, we just, you know, we all are shut down. And okay, okay, that- here, here, here. Here, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm sorry. I, I'm just. Uh, I know you got Go 30 minutes. I'm looking at these. Uh, uh, what you've got mapped here. Um, what's the What's the most concentrated area for nuke explosions? Nevada. <laughs> it's between Nevada and uh, um, it's Nobelska. I, I, I'm gonna butcher the Russian name, but there's a Russian island just north of um, the you know of Russia. It's if you look at the nuclear map it, on the video, it's the one where you see the radioactive dump. I zoom in on it. There's a whole bunch there, and I click on the other one that's a big pile also in the video. But, yeah, there's a bunch anybody, of them in those three areas. 
has anybody submitted to you uh, foreign troops uh, sites or like if they've cited mm-hmm. foreign troops? That would be interesting to add to the map. What I want to put on the map more than anything, and this shouldn't uh-huh. be too hard, is every single United States military base. Just so people can see that we dominate the globe. Okay, you're all our bitch now. So haven't we proven it? Can we stop spending so much money on it? Bring them back home and fix this place before there's a civil war. How come the DHS is so damn busy trying to, you know, gear up for a civil war? There's all this stuff. You got a you got a colonel out there putting out a book describing civil war in 2016, a homeland, you know, freaking you know, like a manual on what to do when it breaks out. You know, mm-hmm. why are they doing all that when this mm-hmm. is supposed to be a free society? If you guys and, – and the government is just a high-level descriptor for an organization of people just like me and you, except the ones that are at the very top, they think they're special. They've been there 30 and 40 years. They think they right. run this crap, and they want to stay there, and, in, and especially the ones that know they're crooked. And because we have totally demonized whistleblowers, nobody can come out and say anything. So they mm-hmm. control they control everything now. If well, you, if plus, you, you if know, this big, you're right, Jim, because this big story with the major troop movements that that I covered, uh, I'm now under surveillance. Um, you know, the friends or the people that were the the key people that were involved with that story have all, every single one of them, have been hit by the Fed. My friend well, is waking up with blackouts, okay, and he's waking up uh, from blackouts with uh, uh, dislocations, uh, dislocated shoulder, broken ribs. He has no recollection of what's going on. This is after his interrogation with the Fed. His friend, who is, who is the insider, is court-martialed and currently detained. Uh, the mouthpiece who started it has disappeared. He's supposed to be operating some kind of covert coup going on in the country, you know, and uh, it's like, you know, where is our hope? Do you do you believe we can take this infrastructure down? And and I want to get your opinion on that. Well, I mean, let me first clarify by saying I love America and I think that we can fix it. I don't endorse any form of violence against anybody. Period. Right. Either. The minute you pick up a rock and throw it, they're gonna zap your little smart ass with Wi Fi. Mark my words. And you go look it up. It's called that active denial system and a a myriad of other ways for them to fry your little brain. So go ahead. Get out there. Riot. It'll be like Antietam times 10. So that ain't going to work. And I'm not trying – and I will never intentionally do something with my project to jeopardize national security. I want to put that out on the radio because I also value my country, and I would never do anything to lower the defense shield – Against the other countries So don't get it twisted out there If you're one of these guys going Wow, he's just covering all of our missile defense shows. He's got all of Ronald Reagan's Star Wars SDI mapped out That's pretty cool I mean, don't wait, that's a security flaw right? You shouldn't be doing that It's all publicly available information Everything I put on there Came from Wikipedia and a College where there was a PDF There was no password I didn't hack anybody I Googled everything on that map. It took me a year and a half. So go ahead and tell me I broke the law. Okay. I'm not going to break the law with my project. I want it to be pristine, clean, and I want the damn CNN to go, you know, today on Climate Viewer, they, they released a fracking map, and as you can clearly see, there, there's a problem, Jane. <laughs> You, you know? know what, Jim? You are you are uh, you are one who really needs some recognition because I believe that you could start this new movement, truthers in the right direction for what? For objectivity. Quit using a subjective mind. Use your objective mind. Let's yeah. get the facts together. And guess what? We can be a strong force. And uh, something like this could be our platform. So people really need to get involved with this project. Well, you know, I'm I'm right now at a point where. My server may be shut down in a few. Um, I'm, I'm doing a donation drive. I, I almost feel like I'm swallowing my pride putting a donate button up. But the bottom line is this. I, too, am poor. I have a high school education. I did all this with my own time and money. It's cost me $800 to put the server up there. And now it's, run, it's running out of gas, and we need one with a what's called a secure socket shell to build the new version, which is tentatively called the Global Survival System. Right. 
And, you know, the most they can let me put on there is a fundraiser. You can put $2,000 limit on there. But, you know, we're going we're gonna to need support over time to make this happen because I'm already being attacked by the Chinese and Russians daily. You know, so wow, wow. Um, I can only imagine what it's going to be like, you know, when the when – the, the bottom line is this. If you go to do this, Google carbon capture report, click nuclear. That's how the NWO looks at you sheeple. Do that. I'm going to repeat that. Carbon capture report, all one word. Go click nuclear. That's how the, the NWO look at you sheeple. You're charted. There's little mood meters. If that okay, mood meter gets out. a little too – Carbon it out cap- for me. <laughs> Okay, C A R B O N C A P T U R E R E P O R T. Wow, you put me on the spot. Dot <laughs> <laughs> com. Yeah, okay. I believe that's it, but go. it's not. Good. And then, do you see nuclear? Uh, carbon capture. Oh, there's a B in there. Ca- carbon capture report. Dot com, right? Yeah, I, I'm not even sure if it's dot com. I was saying Google it. Oh, okay. It's carbon so capture that. report, like all okay. one word. And the, then um, your mojo got it up for everybody. Perfect. Yeah. And then okay, when you so click nuclear, go... you're gonna see little gas meters down there, like some kind of steampunk wonderland. I'm gonna go look at that right now. Okay, as we're as we're live, I'm gonna go look okay. at that. And uh, now, you know, because go ahead, go ahead. Now they they've got these charts, and basically, while you guys are busy tweeting, Facebooking, and everything. They've got all these, you know, mechanisms to chart it. We all know this. You just never got to see it, you know, live. So right, this right, is right. one that's actually live, and you can see on there there's like these mood meters. It's if there. we're all really aggravated about nuclear, it's going to be a spike on there like on that chart. You okay. see the big spike on the chart? Well, my uh, I'm slow because I've got countless tabs okay. for my nuclear. Okay, well, there's a large it. spike on the cha- on the chart in the nuclear – I was there recently, so I know it's there. And during times like that, it said so upwards of like 7,000 posts. I didn't even look into what it was. I probably could have, but, you know, I was real busy that day. And I was just showing it to someone like I'm doing now. But when spikes like that occur, that's when they start to get a little nervous. Okay? Where do I go to get the spike report? I'm on it. I'm on the day, uh, today's daily report right now. Yeah, when you click nuclear, you just scroll down. It's very long. And you'll see like a graph over time, and it's got little, a uh, little pie chart, you know, a little side chart, you know, showing um, in spikes okay. in traffic. And then underneath that, some little gas-looking wheels with red and green lights, and it tells things like mood. And um, here's the point: unless we, as a community, can stop being such egotistical little bastards and trying to run our own little universities and have everybody worship us, unless we can form up Voltron and really get that meter to Mm -hmm. spike to the roof and stay there and stay there and stay there till every single day you're seeing on TV, they're running ads trying to convince us to bring the bar back down. That's when it's going to matter. Wow. Okay, I'm going to get this into the chat room. There's a direct link to what he's talking about, you guys. This is incredible. But that's how they that's how they watch you guys, and or, or me too, you know, of course. But we're we're just looking at statistics, and unless a large body arises against a particular topic, and then stands firm, and knows their source material, we're doomed. They- this is in our face, you guys. It has a spot that says activism is 11.93%. Documentaries and movies put out, 1.65%. Uh, we've got legislation. We've got project. Uh, <laughs> wow. this is. You said drop hard. a bomb, Phil. There you go. But that's how it that works. Is, and, I mean, i got a dozen more of those. But, you know, I'll eventually get them on the map. But right now, my biggest problem is trying to, you know, convince my wife not to disown me while doing all this, of course. Um, (laughs) This has taken me, you know, at least 2,000 hours. I mean, I've spent two years working my butt off doing this stuff and trying to get it out there, and only till just recently has it kind of, you know, gotten some sort of visibility. 
And as a result, wow. you know, today my computer locked up three times. My phone went out. You know, all that stuff oh, yeah. you're talking about, been there. There was an Air Force um, box on a, on a flatbed next to my work all day the other day with the windows blocked out. And I'm like, are they yeah. microwaving me right now? I sure would, surely would like to know. But anyway, yeah. I got pictures too. Um, Good. So, and you, you know, that's the thing. Tell people this because this it doesn't come from just me. You're under the gun. I'm under the gun. There are many you know, people. And I don't know that I I don't know for certain that I'm under the gun. All I know is this: Document. that I've read plenty of places about gang stalking and you know microwave murder and all that crazy stuff. I know that the devices are real, mm-hmm. and I know that they can do it. So yes, it makes me very nervous, and I am. I do feel like every time I do this, I do put my life at risk because I feel like I have a special gift that, you know, obviously nobody else is doing this stuff. I'm going to do it my damn self. And, Good for you. And, you know, it, it's going to take every single one of the people out there being motivated to say, I, I'm willing to know the truth and afford for it. Oh, my God. They've got YouTube posters, social bookmarkers, source countries. Focus countries, blogs, news outlets, Twitterers, followers. It means you guys. Uh, they, you know they're mapping us. We need to get mapping mapping with uh, with Jim here. And I would be uh, I would be supporting you and donating to you. This is a good cause. This isn't something you know. This is something uh, that you could feel good. And 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 I am going to plug donating to, to this project because this is taking him a lot of work, and uh, you know it is costing him money. So it'd be nice if the community got together, our community, our culture here, and really got involved in this and took and got this thing off the ground. Because like you said earlier, Jim, it'd be nice for. Uh, uh, stupid Fox News or CNN to say, you know, uh, on Climate Viewer today, you know, blah, 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 because they're always saying the, they're reporting on YouTube videos. And, uh, you know, if we if we start getting attention, uh, hopefully the sheeple will look our way and see that this stuff is mapped out and everything that is on this map is going to be factual evidence. Yeah, and that's, and that's what I intend it to be. And, you know, um, I'm going to do my best to ensure that I, everything I put on there, I kind of, I, I, I do my due, due diligence to, to double check you. And, you know, what I foresee happening is that, you know, I'm going to get to where I trust certain people. They're going to be my forum ops and we're going to have people submitting stuff that way until I get this new version done. And, you know, I'm working with a programmer right now to get it up and running. We have to buy a new server. It's going to be really expensive because of the way it's going to work. But it shows everything that's on Climate Viewer now, and and stuff that I I just I don't even want to say it till it's live. It's that sick. But um, wow. I mean, well, I can't it, wait. I mean, it it, it, it shut, my heart starts to shudder. We're gonna get we're gonna do an Android app and an iPhone app based on this new project, um, wow. and it's all gonna be tied together. So you'll literally See, be able to. You're giving hope back to the people is what you're that's doing, my, Jim. That's, and that's what I'm trying to do, man. And, and you know, there's so many people scared, and they troll earthquakes yep. and all this crap, and they're not getting anything done. So I'm going to make an app that literally tells you, hey, there was an earthquake five miles next to a radioactive waste dump. You probably should proceed this way to shelter. Oh, there's a tsunami alert, you know, whatever. You go on there, you uh-huh. check the things that you're interested in. Give me daily weather updates. Okay, click, click, click. It'll text you, you know. Um, or just, you know, what's the latest role? What was just recently added to, you know, the the global survival system? And you hit the button, and it sh- shows all the latest things people added. Um, it's it's like Facebook for freaking activists, but with a 3D interface. I'm getting too excited. Um, but, yeah. Well, no, you know what? I'm excited for you because that's what I've been trying to do is, like, you know what? Um, I've been called a fear monger. I've been called, you know, a fear porner and all this other crap. But you know what? It's like I'm trying to build hope back into our culture because I have sat back here and watched over the last four years. Many people have climbed into this culture, this counterculture. We have grown in numbers, and people are getting lost down rabbit holes, and you need to stop that. Stop yeah. chasing conspiracies and get on uh, the board with what what we're doing, things like Jim and things like me. Go ahead. Well, you know, I've been, I've been to so many, and I've been on other radio shows. And, you know, like I was on, I was on a certain – uh, revolution type radio station where um, I was on an argument with an alien and I literally stayed on the phone for four and a half hours, almost like it's like three to four and a half hours, somewhere in there. 
arguing with him. Now, in the in the chat room was three radio show hosts, four other dudes, and the owner of the radio station, a conspiracy dude from YouTube, and the alien. And I was listening to this crap forever, and I'm like, and finally I said, dude, is this not, you know, tr- a truth radio station? I'm not going to say their name. Is this not a truth radio station? Um, because if it is, why are we sitting here having a, a, a conversation with a guy calling himself an alien? Because let's get down <laughs> to the bottom of that right now. There, and, there I, I, and I berated the guy for two hours straight till finally I said, sir, were you born on this planet or were you born on another? And they're like, oh, well, I got respect. Well, you can't answer that. There you go, people. Since nobody else here has the gonads to tell you what I'm about to say, this guy is a freaking liar. He's a liar. He's got no fact in what he's saying, and he's trying to be a prophet. He's trying to tell you, I have intimate knowledge about the universe that I will share with you if you worship me and submit your power to me. Because you have to give your power away, people. Don't give your power away to anybody. You own it. It's what makes you special. When you give it away to other people, they'll fill your head with demons and keep you scared. It's called fear, uncertainty, doubt. It was learned in the MK Ultra experiments. They learned that if you're scared and you don't know what's going to happen, your brain shuts down and you don't want to do anything. You just want to watch a football game, not argue with yep. your kid. Well, everybody needs to break that mold and go, I'm G.I. Joe. I'm a badass. I'm going to run this. I make or break this system. It requires mm-hmm. my dollars. It requires my consent. And once every single person has pissed their parents off till they finally listen, then we will make a difference. But right, right now they ain't listening. They don't want to even okay, hear. Um, I know exactly, and, and I want to plug what's going on in the chat room. Um, and and, and uh, anonymous brings up a really good point, and that's that's just it. Uh, he says, Val, that's because of so much disinformation. People don't know what to believe. And and here's here's my response to that. And I want you to respond to that, Jim. I know you've, you're on short time here, but here's the thing. Recharge Radio is a program that I'm going. I'm only bringing pioneers, people who have paved the way, people who have gone down rabbit holes and got lost, know where they, they've errored, they see the mistakes, they see how to now uh, recognize disinfo from true info. They've 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 built systems on research, and we're going to learn from these people. These panels of guests that I bring on are all pioneers, and this this pioneer, uh, the the pavement started being laid, actually laid in 2008. That is when it actually became a movement and people started really digging in. That's when I got aboard. That's when Proof Negative. Uh, there's so many. Uh, pro- I don't know when you started, Jim, but that's around the area I started. Yeah, and we right, all, right uh, around that time. Yep, that's when it all started. And now I'm taking people who started, the pioneers who started back then and went down all those crazy rabbit holes and got themselves out. Because I guarantee you right now, many of you are stuck in a rabbit hole. And we, and for our heart to you, I love you. I do not want you to see carried away and uh, deceived, okay, Uh, running off in fear and panicking. Because fear is only going to get you into trouble. We need to stay calm, collected. We need to have righteous anger pointed in the right direction, not towards each other. Um, I'm going to let you chime in on that thought. A couple things you guys need to look up. The anatomy of slave speak. The anatomy of slave speak. If you Google it, it's the top selection. T L O seven A, something like that on Bill for Freedom. Mm-hmm. It goes in detail how words are used to control you. Once you learn this system, you will be a deadly weapon against disinfo. You will know what high-level descriptors are and low-level descriptors. People using low-level descriptors are talking about things like apples, oranges, things you know what they are. You can see them. You can touch them. You can eat them. Mm -hmm. High-level descriptors are things like government. Government is an intangible thing. It's made up of many complicated ideas. It does not have a form in the reality. Once you learn... These kinds of controls are how they how the media works. They have think tanks that design every ad to make sure each word is properly placed to send you the proper direction. You know, once you learn these things, you can listen to any guy. I'll, I will. You know what I do with anybody now is if they say, "Hey, call me," I'd rather call you because if I talk to you for five minutes, I'll know whether you're a liar or not. 
and it's all based on the words you use. And people yep. need to know this kind of stuff. So the anatomy of slave speak is one: quiet weapons for silent wars, or silent weapons for quiet wars. I may be butchering that. That's another one. Same exact same thing. Human resources, social engineering in the 20th century. Excellent documentary. Watch all two hours. It'll change your life, especially if you're an activist. Absolutely. And then the last one that most of the viewers need to hear is fear porn. Yep. Go, just go to YouTube, type in fear porn, watch every video till you get it. But particularly one, there's one called fear porn, world's fastest growing addiction. If you have been finding yourself to constantly addictively check for updates about earth-related changes or, you know, government conspiracies or the Anawaki or, you know, if you're a David <laughs> Icke forum goer, <laughs> yeah, right, you know, right. you probably need to watch that video and take it very seriously and try to learn, there, you know, don't, do it with an open eye, or eye at least. <laughs> Exactly, Jim. And the thing, the thing is, is there is a, a some kind of force. Uh, I have a esoteric spiritual kind of belief. I do believe in God and all that stuff. I'm not going to bring religion into this, but all I'm saying is I have been there myself. When you get yourself so addicted and entranced and obsessed with this stuff, you're, it takes over your life, and you're, you're not having joy anymore. Uh, you're tired, your your sleep changes. That's the time where you you need to understand you're imbalanced. You still need to walk away, find the balance in your real life, finding the joy in your family, go play at the park, whatever it takes. Go 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 take a shower with your lover. Whatever. You know, the point yeah. is you've got to walk away. You've got to know when to walk away or you're going to get stuck, and that's one of the biggest things that hurts people. Yeah, and, and I think the biggest problem for a lot of the activists out there, people who think they're semi-activists or at least they're awake, you know, um, mm -hmm. is that they don't know how to balance it. You know, <clears throat> you can only take in so much fear porn yeah. before you right. must release it. My release is music. I believe that music so soothes your soul. Um, Absolutely. There are times where I'm feeling really tense, and my wife will go turn on the music you know, in the house, and we'll start dancing, and yep. instantly it's gone. It's just gone. Oh, yeah. Don't care about Vib any of it. But, Vibrational you know, you, levels, absolutely. Yeah. And, um, you know, whatever your thing is, there are many, um, for thousands of years, people have believed it, and now they still know it, and I'm going to share it with you, but go take your shoes off, walk in your backyard, dig a little hole, put your feet in the ground, bury them up. Sit there for 20 minutes, you're going to feel a hell of a lot better. And, the reason is, and, and you know what? It doesn't, Jim. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Here's the thing. It doesn't. Uh, what, gosh, you know, I'm sorry I interrupted you. Now I lost my thought. That's why I interrupt because I lose thoughts easily. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> yeah. So, I'll, so I'll spit it the out reason here. why I'll, I'll continue, you'll remember. So the okay. reason why is because you have you, you build up a lot of t um, stress and tension and electricity coming in from other sources. You don't have to believe me on that. Just try this. Your your shoes insulate you from the ground which you're supposed to be walking on it's called a ground because it grounds you just like touching the frame of your car or touching the box on the computer before you touch it it grounds you so go right. get rid of all your stress touch the earth it is good it needs you too. <laughs> go outside hey, and know, relax like go yeah, outside like and that, relax you know? appreciate the grass around you for a second stop thinking about so many things Thank and, you. And literally, I just remembered. Yeah, I just remembered my thought, and it had to do with that, that exactly, Jim. Um, you know, my thing is is about uh, try, trying to get get it plugged to people that the your energy is huge. It makes a big difference. And when when you go away and you step away from the doom and gloom, is what I'll call it. People call it fear porn. I call it doom and gloom because I'm old school. But when you get away from the, the doom and gloom and you start to get into a wilderness setting. You know, um, that actually recharges you, and you're not it good does. to us. You're not good to us if you're beaten down 
okay, because of the study, the research, and everything that goes with it, you're not good to us. You've got to be charged up every day. You've got to recharge daily. Recharge. <laughs> recharge rate. Oh, exactly. So I uh, thank you for that because uh, I like to get by a river. You know, my thing personally, what Val does is I go sit by the McKinsey River up here in Oregon. Uh, whether I'm fishing or not, I will sit by that river uh, right around the dusk time. Huh? How close to Bend is that? Bend, I'm about two hours, I think, from Bend. I'm in Eugene. Okay. I've, yeah. I've been to Bend. So, yeah, Bend is nice. Um, so I'll sit by a river and just let my watch the water and just do, putting all my thoughts out there, letting it go. When I leave, I feel so damn good, and I'm like, okay, all right, New World Order, I'm charged up. You know, look out. So, yeah. uh, you know, and that's what people really need to do. And uh, anyways, that's just my plug about it. But yeah, well, look it up. It's Ambient EMR Electro Smog. Look up how the um. I believe it's Norway or Sweden one. The doctors over there readily recognize it. Um, Dr. Oz was on recently talking about using EMR to heal you. Um, there's a lot of stuff that, it, that they've figured out in the last 30 years that I'm fascinated with that surround the electromagnetic spectrum mm. that they can do to either harm or heal you. And right now it's on us to make sure that we let the people running stuff know that it's not cool to put a laser on a satellite or use Wi-Fi sources to harass people or, you know, anything like that. There's there's really crazy stuff out there. I don't want to get into all that, but you can go look at it on climateviewer.com. Um, I'm going to track a whole lot of things, and, and I know that I am just a man. I have limited, I'm limited by what I've been exposed to. So that's why I ask other people to help me make this the right thing. And if you see hey. something that's on there that you know to be non-factual, call me on it. Message me. Get on the forum. Submit, you know, submit that this is incorrect. Show me why. Don't tell me your cousin told you, you know, and then I'll change it. And that's okay. that's what we all need to do, you know. I don't want to have to tell everybody out there to go re-edit their blogs, but still – you know, try to try to at least if you know something you did in the past is completely in fa- non factual, take it down. Try to, you know, clean up the internet a little. Right, exactly. And that's the thing is that we have so many we're seeing a rise in pioneers coming back to the forum uh, in in the truth movement, and I'm I'm really trying to rally them up too here on Recharge Radio. Um, and I'd like to have you back, you know, as a as a regular guest. Uh, the reason is that I believe this is also countermeasures um, to, to for safety is uh, the more people that know about you and your project, the more you're going to be protected because they won't, uh, they're not going to likely touch people who are, who is very popular and a lot of people know, uh, you well, know. So I, I want to speak directly to that because for the longest time I was only on Twitter. I had a little anonymous guy, Fox mask. My nickname was resonated. There was no Jim Lee. And at some point I decided that, you know, for me to go forward, it's going to be based on my reputation. People are going to only respect you as much as, you know, when people see you put yourself out there and can verify that you're a real person, you know, you're not just some little icon you made up, it changes things. And and I did that because, you know, one, for the self-preservation reason. If I'm just an anonymous mask, you're erasable. Nobody even knows your name. Well, so that's you're also right about a tactic that. of uh, yeah, you're, that's a tactic of COINTELPRO. You know, um, people who I have on my show, uh, they tell you their real names, and there's a reason for that because we've been in this game long enough to know if you're going to have any credibility, you're going to use your, you're going to be a real person. Agents are not real people on the internet; they are uh, illusions. Okay, they could yeah. be your friends. Uh, people, you, uh, all of you, I guarantee you, <laughs> I guarantee you, all of you have at least talked to one agent. All of you. Oh yeah, I guarantee. You. <laughs> and, and for those who don't know, go look at the HB Gary hack, where anonymous hacked HB Gary, a 16 year old girl, owned a defense contractor. And some people may think, oh, that's a bad thing. No, it was a very good thing because these guys were paid by a very large, very prominent lawyer firm, and they hired H.B. Gary, Palantir, and Barrico to go out and make sock puppets, to make 50 Facebook accounts, all with complete histories, to discredit Glenn Greenwald from WikiLeaks, 
and quote on the on the PDF slide, if if support for Glenn Greenewald folds, WikiLeaks will fold. Right. And I mean right. literally that clear. Government defense contractor making Facebook, Twitter accounts, tacking people online, saying that this stuff is false, and that's because they recognize that, you know, people are swayed by other people's comments. So just like the salespeople, the advertisers go out and they blow up their own product. Yeah, it was great. I have people constantly call me saying, do you want me to give you some good reviews on Google? And we'll go to 50 different websites and post random comments for you saying Climate Viewer is awesome. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. that's another tactic of an agent is they'll, they'll say, you're a leader. Your work is good. And they're just using you. You know, and then they drop a bombshell eventually. But, uh, you know, I, I've seen them in all different colors. You know, I've, I've done mistaken identities, real people with agents. It's easy to do. But, uh, you know, uh, my discernment is, is probably, you know, 8 out of 10. I would I would comfortably say 8 out of 10 people that I think are agents are. Uh, well, I'm going to go, I'm gonna go a different route and say, agents, I encourage you to join in on our project. You have intimate knowledge which we could really benefit from. Don't be afraid of Obama and the oppressive regime. Be a whistleblower. If you're listening to this and you go to work every day and you hate your job because you know what you're doing is illegal and evil, have the balls to say something. There you go. Wow. Please. So we're be- I'm powerful. begging you personally – Come save us. You guys are just like us. You got kids just like us. You go to church just like us. You're going to die just like us, and I hope that you don't have to answer for what you've done. So you might want to come and save us and tell everybody what the NSA is doing and what the CIA and FBI is doing, running guns and, and tracking everything we're doing and usurping the Constitution. And you got a president, madman, grabbing power like some Nazi getting ready to stomp on people i don't understand how it's gotten this far but please if you work for the government and you have a heart and you care and you happen to hear this get it together and save us because we need you be a man or a woman and stand up (sighs) wow powerful rant wow yeah i just got mega chills on that brother that was awesome and I couldn't have said it better. <laughs> I mean, that that's what we need is power. And I want to put out a thing. Um, I want to put out a, 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 an idea for everybody out there. Um, use your real name, okay? Because that's going to help. It's going to show that we are no longer afraid. It's going to show that we are bold. It's going to show that we are powerful. We are intelligent people. And and uh, if they really wanted us, they can find you. Listen to me. If they really want you, they can find you. You can't freaking hide. So yeah. You, might as well you, you think you think you're place. doing a good job with your I2P and your tour, <laughs> and you think that you're a little digital warrior. You're not. <laughs> No, they'll You're break not, your Indian for okay? <laughs> If you ever logged into your YouTube, they got you. If you ever been near a Facebook or saw a like button on a page, they got they you. They got you. Mm-hmm. So give it up. Just go uh, ahead yeah. and do it in the open and own it. And then when you go down the street, tell people what you do. Right. Tell them. I go right. into the gas station every day. People in my neighborhood know what I do. When I end up disappear- disappearing, everybody in my freaking town is going to know why. You you know what? If 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 we can get everybody, Jim, to change their uh, their chat IDs and your their YouTube IDs to their real name, that is a movement that can start right now. And what it's going to do is eventually, if everybody gets on board, people that are using uh, anonymous names are going to be looked at as agents. I mean, sure they could probably use a a, a, a made up name. But it's like, you know what, be real. Come out of the dark. Be real. I'm on YouTube. My face is on YouTube. I'm Valerie Marie Villano, born in La Mirada, California. I've got no fear. Uh, you know, I mean, it's just we've been in this game long enough that uh, hiding behind some kind of avatar is is, well, re- is retarded. Yeah, and, and I need to say this, too, though, because I feel like this needs to be said. You right. Know, I firmly believe in anonymous. I don't know what you guys have ever heard about anonymous. It is a collective of people that are just like what I just described. They feel powerfully about it. They're moved to do it, and they do have anonymous masks. I understand that there are certain people 
who will have to remain anonymous because their misdeeds, should they reveal their you know face, will ins- ensure their doom. And I respect the everyday revolutionary who says – who takes it upon themselves to see injustice and know that there's corruption there and then go and break their back and take their emails and put them out there. And what do you know? They were doing illegal, unconstitutional shit. You know what I do after that? I high-five every one of you. I respect you. You guys got more balls than anybody on YouTube ever had. So you keep doing what you're doing. And to the FBI and everybody that wants to hate on them, they wouldn't be doing what they were doing if you guys were transparent, if you guys weren't corrupt, if they weren't prosecuting whistleblowers, if they weren't throwing the head of the IMF and, you know, Julian Assange in jail on rape charges. We all know that's like the number one, oh, we, we got to discredit them real quick, throw them under the bus. If you can't, kill them. Well, you know what? That doesn't cut it. If you took that oath and you went into the government, why can't you be a Boy Scout and be honorful and, and really look out for us? Because we really need it. Everybody, every single one of them needs to do it. Uh, but for the anonymous people, they're doing it because nobody else is. And they, and you know, there is a, there is a, there is definitely reasons to be anonymous. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, I'm talking about your average truther who who is of living course, behind of course. fear. And I'm just like, saying, I'm on. just saying that because I have a lot of respect for a lot of those guys, and I don't want to not say sure. that. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Let's clarify that right now. Absolutely, yeah. there's reasons to be anonymous, but I, I, I'm really addressing. Listen, if you have fear and it's un, it's it's indoctrinated you and inundated you, listen to me, listen to me, come out. Yeah. There's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, it's you know, great. We've all got an appointment with death, and guess what? Here's the thing: if you believe in God, listen to me. Nothing will be will happen to you outside of God's will. Act in faith. And for those that don't have faith in God, and, 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 and you know, that's fine because i got a lot of listeners who don't or not religious people, which is fine, which is perfect. I don't care about all that. Listen, fear is what's going to kill you. You've yeah. got to come out and stand for something because everyone's going to die and at least die for a reason, for a cause, for a purpose, for something that is standing in truth that you live yeah. on. I'd rather die standing on my feet than live in a cage, cowering and scared. I mean, what kind of life is that? Mm hmm. Absolutely. Ugh. All right, so we're getting back down to the last half hour. I'm going to have to get into some news. Um, listen, Jim, give your plug one more time because there are a couple people who just got in um, as far as where your website is, how to get a contact with you, and listen, um, a donate too. Please, people, if you want to make a difference, here is our platform. Let's get Jim off off in all of us as a group off and running. Okay. Go ahead, Jim. My, my website is climateviewer.com. ClimateViewer.com. Um, all along the top of the, the left-hand borders, all my links, Resonated.net, Resonated.com, my YouTube, my Twitter, and all that. Um, I'm working with a programmer. We're going to try to make this ten times what it ever is, you know, what it is now. Um, I'm running into some problems. Uh, they're, <laughs> they're breathing down my neck, and, you know, I'm a poor man. I'm going to be straight up about it, and I need your help. So, if you can donate, I would really appreciate it. I can assure you that I'm going to put this to making this the best product that ever could be to involve as many people as possible and to eventually make the – I mean, literally, we. I want to achieve critical mass on a website where we can bring fusion to, an inf- to a new story and get everybody to say, this is important, let's make them hear us. And then all together, like Voltron, we form up and we – beat the media back, and then they have to respond because so many people are outraged. When they look at the map, they go, there's no place clean left. we got to do something. There's military everywhere. There's drones everywhere. There's 30,000 drones coming by 2016. You guys better get off your ass and help me now because we are in trouble, and everybody knows it. And I don't want to hear any more of this violence crap. I don't want to hear any more of this fear crap. If you don't know what fear porn is, Go find out. If you don't know how you're being controlled, look into slave speak. Then come get involved in Climate Viewer and post things that matter, and we will get it 
together somehow. I want to get people from the truth movement and put them together on a web page that I'm going to design where we can literally say this is truth approved and it's not fear porn free. And the people that post their news there are tried and true citizen reporters who really matter. And we will try to get all of this information together and, and use it as a weapon against all of the injustices. And uh, the last thing is, don't be scared anymore. You are so powerful. You can ruin everything for them, or you can make it all better. You know, you could just go out and literally, you know, get everybody involved, get your family involved, let them know that it matters to you. Don't back down at the dinner table when it really matters to you. When you hear somebody being racist, tell them that it, they shouldn't be that way. And if they want to keep being that way, dissociate with their stupid asses. We need to all as together say, I've got to be better for me. Then I've got to expect better from others and show them the respect so that we can all come together. Because right now we're in little boxes, I, you know, Christian versus Muslim, gay versus straight, Republican versus Democrat, Clemson versus Carolina. It's I'm all part of, of their agenda. Separation. And that's how they want it to do. Well, we need to we stop need that. We need to unite. Yep. I talked about so, that. I talked about that yesterday, Jim. Is uh, we need to stop with this infighting and, and uh, you know the, the the Christians against the atheists and all this other crap that goes on and you know the New Agers against Christians and I'm seeing this all over the place. You know what? Specialize in your field, whatever your field is. If you're chasing Nibiru, be good at it. If you're uh, looking for military troops. Be good at it. And, I mean, focus on one thing. You can't tackle the entire truth movement. There's too, ma there's too many topics. Find one that interests you and be good at it. Okay? That's my point. Instead of going all over, jumping all over the place, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, apparently I've got their attention. I have a bright light directly over my house. Hello. Really? Wow, well, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I actually signed on my switchboard under a, a ghost IP, so they're not screwing with me today. You know, it won't take them long before they break into that. But whatever, I got them. I got at least today. <laughs> they really well, screwed with me. Well, if this is going to be up on um, on Freedomizer, I'd sure love to copy this and put it up on my YouTube so other people can hear it. I did enjoy Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Listen, you, uh, you just go to – I can send you the archive uh, link. You download it, uh, get your video editor out, and you've got the MP3 of the whole show, and you can upload it. I plan on uploading this as well because I want as much as much exposure. I'm, I'm supporting you. I'm behind you. I think this is exactly the breath of fresh air that we need. And I, and I want to say that I think that you, you have the right attitude. I like, I thought, you know, a lot of times when I go on a radio show – I feel like half the time I'm trying to teach the person that they're uh -huh. addicted to fear porn and they need to stop. And you're yep. the first one that I've talked to. I didn't have to do any of that. So big ups to you. <laughs> Thank you. I don't believe that people who just are brand new into this should be running any radio shows. They have no business running radio shows. It's not that it's, it's, it's trying to take away from the heart of one of from them of wanting to to uh, shout out to everybody what they're discovering. The problem is is they haven't been in it long enough to uh, have an objective uh, uh, approach. They haven't gone through the the all the you know things that we've gone through. Uh, yeah. A brand new person has no business running a show. I, I just people who are into it that are new, you need to stay away from those shows. I will say that. Yeah, and I, I wrote a like a how to article. It's called Kill Your Television. It's on my blog, and yeah. it's, it's linked at the top. It's um, resonated.net, R-E-Z-N-A-D.net. Click the Kill Your Television link, and it'll teach you about how the media controls you, how it makes you lose your attention, slave speak, false left-right paradigms, and then one that goes to right what you were just saying, the seven deadly sins of online activists, number one being – uh, Self-promotion at the expense of the movement, and number seven being scary. So, everybody, if you if you if you are an online auctioneer of your wisdom, then go read that because it applies directly to you and follow it to the T because it really matters. Um, we need to we need to change everybody's attitudes, especially the ones that are putting out two and three videos a day, putting out, you know, a radio show every day, and they too are spreading fear. Um, if we continue down this fear route, 
they're, they're trying their best to tell you that a movie made Muslims hate you and that if you're if that they're going to kill you the a, a personal plane will be flown into each of your houses and that if you're scared of them you'll be okay with us going to World War 3 mm-hmm. do not be scared of them i was online with anonymous guys from the hacktivist group during the whole arab spring and i'm telling you people in iran they want what we have they they're just like us people in israel they're just like us. There's a Facebook people, group. People in Syria and Turkey are just like us. It's the governments and the propaganda is where the illusion is. Don't fall into it. Uh, you yeah. know, and that's the thing, Jim, is, um, you know, here at Freedomizer, we really try to do our best at keeping uh, objective journalism going and, and just, you know, researching and, and doing facts. And if we can get this shift into a more uh, collaborative network, of people with objective evidence, you know, hardcore evidence, real truth, not conspiracy, then uh, we can really build an empire and uh, have have a, a, a shot at least hope here. And if anything, if anything, it's the fight that matters because you fought yeah. for something, you know. Yeah. Even if we don't win, look how many people you could wake up. Yeah. Yeah, oh, and, and the other know, thing I wanted to pitch, I, I'm not going to be able to get to my news, this note, but I'm going to just highlight real quick. Listen, guys, if this don't get you stirred with already what we've shown you, what Jim's done here, what's already mapped out, and this thing could be so much bigger, okay? They are, are, they are moving to RFID chip your kids at public schools. This is a real story. They are putting surveillance, cam- surveillance cam- cameras at schools, elementary schools, schools all across the nation. This stuff is moving in fast. Uh, you know, they've got, they've got Syria surrounded as of yesterday. They're doing their war. We've got a war crime out. We've got uh, pissed off countries. Um, everything set in motion. Okay, this is the time to act. This is the time not to be scared and run away. This is the time to act. And I'm asking uh, and imploring every one of you listening to this to act. Yeah, you, you really need to get out there and let people know that you're not cool with any more violence. If you're in the, right. and, and if you're in the military and you're and you're in earshot of this, I'm gonna tell you straight up. If they tell you to go to World War Three, quit your job, come home. Don't do it. Look at what happened the last two times, and I'm here to tell you, the Chinese shut the U.S. power off. It was in the news last week. I was in an Internet Relay chat a year ago talking to a bunch of hackers, and the Chinese guys were bragging that they could do it then. That was with SCADA. Now they got this Oasis SCADA. Oh, by the way, the Chinese just stole all the designs for it. If they shut our power off, the Heritage Foundation said that two-thirds of Americans will die within six months. That's because you fat Fs have been going to McDonald's so long that you don't have any source of water without power. You don't have any food without power, and you will die. It's going to be crazy if we don't do something. And I'm telling you, and then the Iranians, the Chinese, and the Russians have high-altitude EMP weapons. Screw your nuclear weapons. You don't even have to hit the ground with them. You put one nuke off over America, all the power goes out, same result. So go, go, this ain't yeah, be... go read the go read the NDAA uh, that was just signed. Obama has hijacked the electric companies, transportation, your car, your animal food stock, your food, anything no, that, that's, they that's, want. No, that's 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 not the NDAA. That's the NDRP, the National Defense Sorry, Resource yeah. Preparedness Act. It was signed by Obama, yep, it. and it says that's that they can put you on a chain gang for free. Take you literally come to your house and say, "Look, there's a dam that's busted. You guys have to come. By the way, we need your tractor and all your food." They yeah, can do exactly. that. It is now law. So Thank you for that correction. <laughs> I'm just yeah. up. <laughs> I know, I know. And and the NDAA is the other one. And by the way, there there are judges fighting on the front lines of that up in New York. They've denied the first couple of NDAA charges. They will not let them indefinitely hold them. And F.org, the Electronic uh, Fr- Fr- uh, Frontier Foundation, they're fighting. Epic.org, check them out. EFF.org and Epic.org, give them your support. They fight for you guys every single day. Um, the the, the FBI has got the next generation in intelligence uh, cameras, facial recognition that could hit you from a mile away. They have, um, the Air Force has Gorgon Stare uh, cameras on these global hawks overhead that can see – a statewide all at once. 
Um, they have this thing called the Gotcha Spiral 2 system. It's a Doppler radar on a plane that can make a 3D visualization of the ground underneath it, just like Enemy of the State, where you can, yep. you know, rotate the camera inside a building. That shit's real. So you guys yep. better get get it together right now because everything you do is watched. They're paranoid, and I don't understand why. <laughs> why would they be spending so much time – you know, trying to catch the one guy who's going to blow something up and tracking all of us like rats. And there are people starving everywhere and the ground's full of radiation and the air is full of radiation and nobody cares. And now they want to frack it all. I mean, every single industry on the planet needs a rework. We all know it. The people who are currently running this world are scared to death. The bankers that are running this world have been so corrupt that the dollar is going to die and all that. We know it's because their lies can only go so far. The Fed's doing everything they can to keep it afloat. We have got to all – good. Sorry. I ran. August August 10th, the U.S. banks uh, were told to make plans uh, for a banking collapse. This this shit is real. This isn't a a high conspiracy. They they made the five five largest banks – Make living wills and like duplicate wills, like there was two of them. Mm-hmm. I, I don't, know, I don't understand the reason behind that, but yeah, they they all told them go ahead and, and write us out exactly what you're going to do when you fail, because yep. they know it's going to happen because they have lied for so long. Yep. So exactly. If, if and, and the thing is, if history tells me anything, and if you guys haven't ever heard of it, the Ludlow massacre in Colorado. Coal miners in Colorado were the first Occupy movement. That Occupy movement lasted a year. They were on strike. They didn't want to work for Rockefeller anymore. They wanted they wanted their raises and good treatment. Finally, after he couldn't take it any longer, he hired the Colorado National Guard to kill them. They went in the middle of the night. They killed everybody. They killed like 11 people and burnt the whole tent city. The next morning, the people of Colorado shocked to find out that the Colorado National Guard killed people, broke out in a civil war. There was a civil war in America in 1914, and nobody knows it. See, the 1914 or 1924, I read a lot. But that civil war ended when the president sent in the national troops to break it up. When it was all said and done, nobody was prosecuted, and Rockefeller founded a foundation to better understand how to make you sheeple shut up and work. And that's what that movie Human Resources is about. You need to go watch it. They figured out how to take away all your ability to have pride in your job. You're completely replaceable. You can't say anything for fear of losing your job. Your wages have constantly gone down. Pretty soon robots will be doing everything. What will we do then? Right. Uh, and also, I pulled up the report here uh, to name the banks that they first uh, uh, offered, and that was uh, according to documents, and this is coming out of Reuters, the Federal Reserve and the U.S. Office of Controller of the Currency first uh, directed five banks, which also include, which also, here's a key word, five banks, which also include City, Citigroup Incorporated, Morgan Stanley, J.P. Morgan Chase and Company, uh, to come up with recovery plans by May uh, by May, and th- this this was a. If you go back, and here's the thing: a lot of people give me uh, 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 havoc a little bit on going back into old news. Well, here's the thing: a lot of old news is 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 now coming to to in manifestation today. So we need to go back in history. If you go back in history, that's where you learn what the plan is. In order to understand where we're going, you got to go back go backwards. And yeah. uh, that's that's, yeah. that's why and, and, I bring some know, old news back in. Go ahead. That's why. That's why. That's why I made Climate Viewer, and it's because mm-hmm. you know I've got a hundred and fifty something blog posts. Nobody could possibly ever read all that. You know, not in a day or two. What are you going to devote a part time job to reading my droll on the internet? Um, all right. So yeah, there's tons of there's tons of news articles every day. I, I you know I use a thing called Trap It, and it gives me you know I pick topics and it scours the net for them. And I'm telling you, every single day I read at least five things that. I could devote the rest of my life to changing just that. Mm-hmm. So the problem for me is letting it go. 
And most people don't have a problem letting it go because they don't have a memory and they were designed to be that way. I, however, have a problem (laughs) where I cannot forget. I do not forget. I do not forgive. So I'm going to go and put it all on a map so that it's easily there in in a non-time dated, non-scroll down, non-go to page four format so that it still matters every day. Yes, That's absolutely. That was my thought. Because absolutely. right now, a story on Monday is buried by Friday. That's mm-hmm. the way it works. And, and things they, get slipped under the rug all the time, and that's why sometimes I'll find something, I'll find a video that's really uh, bombshell information that only has about 200 views, and it didn't ever go anywhere. So I look for stories like that because if it has anything to do with what's going on today, we need to bring that back up. And, and that that is a evidence building. So, um, you know, that's what we do. Well, what, but uh, what, let, me, yeah. let me say one thing that, that just bothers me right now. Obama and co, you know, I'm not a Republican nor a Democrat on preface, but Obama and co, to, to you directly because I know you'll get this, um, how do you go to – to um, go, just go to a fundraiser the day after our ambassador dies. I mean, if Hillary Clinton would have died, would you took the day off? Would you gone on TV? Regardless, after it happened, why would you blame it on a movie? Why would you try to false flag the whole damn world? And then to boot, after that, when it all came out, that Jay Carney, you put him up there to hang himself on a, on a cross, how come Jay Carney hasn't been anywhere for two weeks? How come we don't have anybody briefing the press? How come you guys had, took three weeks to go to the embassy to secure it? If if somebody robbed a, a freaking gas station, the police block it off within an hour. All right? But you couldn't get your ass with, with the $1.4 trillion a year and all this defense shit you got. You couldn't get over there to even secure the place afterwards for three weeks. And right. you couldn't send them guards beforehand. What do we spend our damn money on that you guys could not protect that man when he begged for help? That was a good man. Nobody in America should let this go. So I hope everybody remembers that. That man deserved protection. He was – I'm not going to say exactly. I have intimate details about what happened to him. It's really disgusting. And there was no protest it was all a lie. He lied to everybody. And you know what? Through the magic of mirrors and the play games and the slave speak and the control of the media and letting shit slip, if it doesn't come up during the ba- debate, you guys need to remember that this guy is asleep at the wheel and that we are in deep shit. And if he does another four years, this guy is not a leader. He is not even a follower. He's just a puppet. And it scares me. I wanted to believe in the guy, but now I'm really scared when he's signing the NDAA, the NDRP, allowing 30,000 drones in America, catering to the to the extremists around the world, going to the U.N. saying, yeah, maybe we should ban free speech. We shouldn't allow anybody to say something about Islam. Anybody on the world should be able to say anything about anyone, and if they get offended by it, that's their problem. They are, they have a, a personal problem. If you allow somebody else's words to affect you, you need to work on that because that's your problem. And that's where our democracy starts and finishes. And right now it is under threat. And everybody needs to recognize that and get up fast. I mean real fast. And I don't think that Romney's any better. Don't get me wrong. He would high-five Obama on that NDRP and the NDAA so fast – because he's just like him. But mm-hmm. I would rather oh, roll the dice singing, with somebody else. You know? Right, he's singing, you know, he's beating the war drums, Romney, if he, either one. It's it's which yeah. lesser of two evils. <laughs> yeah, I wrote an article called The Election 2012, Lesser of Two Evils. <laughs> so you're exactly <laughs> right. Right, right. Well, listen, we've got five minutes left, and I've got to make a couple of announcements. Jim, thank you so much, and I encourage everybody out there listening to this, get on board with this project that he's doing. Donate if you can. Anything helps, $5, $10, whatever. I am. I don't plug for donations. Nobody's ever heard me plug I don't, for donations. I don't like even asking for donations. And I'm telling you, I'm from the South, and it, it hurts my heart to ask. 
Yeah, but honey, I need you it. need money, period. Honey, you yeah. need money. And that's just the bottom line. If you want to get something done, it costs moolah. And people need to unite and, and get on board with this and support this cause. And uh, more than that, uh, be reporters for Jim. Go, you know, build, build your cases and evidence. You know, get, get really involved in this project, and we can get this thing launched and uh, have a place uh, that we can all say, look, we proudly built this. And this is, yeah. this is, this is what we're standing on, and we've had enough. Yeah, and I can't do it without you. I mean, I am I'm just one man and I'm only going to be able to keep up with it so much. And the reason why we're uh, I'm working with this programmer to design this new system is because I foresee a time when we have you 50,000 people on the website a day and they're all contributing information and we literally have to build in new controls and hire programmers to make this thing even bigger till literally every government official is going you know we're going to submit you know have local colleges say you you guys do a research paper and because you're part-time activists submit all that info to us and we'll put it right up there you know so right. that awesome. there's no more of this hidden you know oh deleted file oh dead link 404 oh i got to go to the wayback machine archive.org to go look it up oh there it is how come they deleted all that really scary crap you right. know right. why did they right. delete all that we're not going to let that one, happen anymore yeah the ones that get deleted you know i i, I, I those are the ones i chase you know i try to get them before they delete them <laughs> archive.org everybody try it it's wayback machine it's the internet vcr and all of my good finds come from there. American.edu slash TED is deleted. In there, they talk about the Russians dumping reactors off the, in the Sea of Japan. All right? So dumping nuclear waste right by Japan. That's all gone. But because of Wayback Machine, I downloaded every single one of them. I'm going to put them on the map. Your awesome. face. Great work. Your face, you know. <laughs> So, Listen, Jim, i, I got to cut you loose, bro. I've got a minute, 30 seconds left. Thank awesome. You so Everybody much. check out ClimateViewer.com, ClimateViewer.com. Thank you for having me. This really was fun, and I'll definitely right, do it Jim. again. Awesome. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to having you back as a regular guest and doing updates with this project. We, we need to keep this, uh, keep the uh, the pedal to the metal, brother. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm recharged now. I think I'm going to get online and call some, make a ruckus. There you go. Go for it. All right. <laughs> All right. You guys uh, appreciate it, man. Thank you. Bye. God bless. Okay, Jim. Wow, guys. Powerful, powerful, powerful there. Uh, I just can't plug it enough. Listen, quick announcement. Uh, B Valerie Ann uh, from uh, uh, Truth Exposition is going to be my regular co-host. We're going to both be co-hosting together on Mondays right here starting next Monday in Recharge Radio. Uh, where I'm going in scenes here. Monday we're going to be concentrating uh, Mondays, we're going to be concentrating on uh, on uh, the, the things that she's uh, her neck of the woods, her her specific studies, uh, n uh, Nibiru and uh, comets and the sky. She's got a really good uh, eye on the sky, uh, solar changes, earthquakes, UFOs. She's following all that stuff really tight and close. So uh, Monday's theme is going to be diving into a lot of that stuff. So every Monday we're going to be uh, uh, hosting together right here on Recharge. And then Tuesday, we have Tom Gamble. For you Christian audience out there, um, you know, I want a wide platform, and i got to get off here because, listen, Valerie and uh, Valerie Sergeant Martin coming up next. Stick around. She's got an explosive guest coming up today here in six seconds. All right, guys, I'm out of here moving over for uh, Valerie Sergeant Martin. Okay, God bless everybody. I will see you Monday, live on the air with Valerie Ann. I hope you've enjoyed this segment of Recharge Radio. I'm Val Bolano. Stand united, because a group that's divided is polluted. And that's a wrap. Welcome, freedom lovers and patriots. It's the Valerie Sergeant Martin Show. I'm your host, Valerie Sergeant Martin. Uh, some people call me a renegade Republican. Some people call me a rebel agitator. Some people have even likened me to Saul Alinsky. Uh, and at first, I was unhappy with that. But now, 
I think it just means that I'm pretty good at what I do activism wise, so I don't take offense anymore. Um, how about you? Are you a renegade too? If you are, you're in the right place. Thanks for joining me. And if you're not a renegade, hmm, stick around. Maybe we can turn you into one. Uh, but anyway, it's the Valerie Sergeant Martin Show. Our number to call in is 347-324-3704. You can also listen to the show at that number. You don't have to talk to me. You can just listen. Another way to connect with me is at the freedomizerradio.com chat room. Several folks there chatting now. I just got through listening to a very good um, show with Val Volano. Wow, it was great. Uh, it, I really enjoyed it. I had to get off about 15 minutes ago, um, so I didn't catch the end of it. But uh, she had a really good guest. Jim Lee, I believe his name was. He was really good. So I hope you guys will listen to Val. She is on every day now. So uh, you'll need to check her out.